Hello everyone and welcome back to Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix on the PlayStation 4. We are playing on critical mode in the last episode. We arrived here at Twilight Town since the first time really in the entire game, which was pretty cool. Uh, we saved Cypher from a new nobody and we were introduced to Sykes. He is a member of Organization 13 and, as we will come to find out, pretty much the second in command. We've actually already seen him in the Chain of Memories series, so if you haven't watched that yet uh, and you want to be caught up on the story, make sure you hit the eye in the corner, the upper right hand corner, and you can go and see what happened in Chain of Memories. Now in this episode, we are going to head to Hollow Bastion because as we were informed by Chip and Dale, it's being consumed in darkness, which is true. Look at it. It's also now a level battle, uh, a battle level 28 world. So let's go to Hollow Bastion. Do you think? Looks like there's more heartless now. Let's go check in with everyone. I think they're at Merlin's. Yeah, yeah, they're probably at Merlin's. We should go that with a bunch of nobodies and heartless roaming around. That can't be good. So you can go to the shops that are around this area if you so choose, although you're not really going to be able to get too much. There's nothing that has uh, really been introduced that is brand new to us anyways. So let's actually head up here and uh, maybe we can talk to our good friend. Hello! Hello, Scrooge McDuck! I was so close to recreating that flavor, too. I don't know what voice that was. That ain't Scrooge McDuck, though, I'll tell you that right now. What, lads? Leon and his friends are in the burrow. Hi, Merlin. I, I am. I'm gonna stop doing. Okay. Okay. Did I. Hang on. Okay. I was making sure that I actually did what I needed to do by talking to him earlier. Uh, okay, I did. Also, look who it is. Perhaps one of the best characters ever in any Final Fantasy, sort of. Let's say hi to Cloud. Oh, Cloud! What you doing? I'll get him. This time, we settle it. Me and the one who embodies all the darkness in me. Huh. I said you look kind of different, Cloud. If I do, it's his fault. Whose? Sephiroth. Tell me if you see him. Okay. What's he look like? Silver hair. Carries a long sword. Sure. Well, be seeing you, Cloud. Be careful. He messes with your head. Makes you think darkness is the only way. Is something wrong? Uh, uh... It's nothing. Hmm? I don't want you involved. You mean, you don't want me there when you go away again? I just... Listen, even if I go far away, I'll come back. Do you mean it? Yeah. See, you don't look so sure. Well, okay, I understand. Go, get things settled. Huh? No matter how far away you are, once you find your light, I'm sure it will lead you back here again. Right? I suppose. So I'll stay here. And I'll cheer for you. Okay, Cloud? Okay. Wonder if he'll be okay. He'll be fine. I'm sure there's some light in him somewhere. You're right. What I love about that whole interaction is, one, it gives us nerds a chance to see what it would be like if Aerith was alive during the events of Final Fantasy VII. Oh, spoiler! I'm joking. We all know she dies. Anyways, 
Uh, it'd be really annoying, actually. It'd be really annoying. But that was Cloud from Advent Children, which is pretty cool. I do miss... I miss... I miss his design from the first game, but seeing him in his Advent Children, the the, mo the movie, that uniform looks pretty damn good on him. Looks pretty damn good. Also, I love how he tells us about Sephiroth, who we already defeated in the first game. Let's head to the burrow. So in the burrow, we are going to be encountering these brand new Heartless. These are called Bookmasters. They are absolutely immune to damage, uh, magic damage. Magic damage will not hurt Bookmasters whatsoever, so it's usually worth just taking them out as quickly as you can. Uh, there's no point in, in even trying to use magic on them because it's not going to do anything. It's not going to work. Actually, uh, something that we could do because we didn't do this before is we could go ahead and put on the uh, the Oath Keeper. I'm actually going to do that on our uh, our Valor form or, you know, when we use another Keyblade. Uh, I'm going to do that instead, I think, because that gives us form boost and that's just pretty darn good to have. All right, let's continue forward, and we're going to be encountering two Bookmasters. Uh, when there's two of them, you should be focusing on them as, as hardcore as you can. Now, of course, the defense system here in Hollow Bastion is still working uh, for us, which is which is pretty good. Oh my god, why? I could not get him. This is a good time, too, to get some extra money and whatnot. And don't forget that the Drive Gauge trick does indeed still work here. Um, you can keep doing what we showed you uh, earlier in Twilight Town, the first or Hollow Bastion, the first time that we were here, which is pretty darn, pretty darn neat indeed. Uh, so I think that's pretty much all we can talk about for the new Bookmasters. They will get close if need be, and they will use something called Double Strike that will actually send you flying backwards, uh, which is a little annoying, but for the most part, you'll be okay. Let's head into Merlin's house. Hey, fellas, you're just in time. Got some good news for you, so get yourselves over to Leon's. Well, what kind of news? We found the computer Ansem was using. Oh, boy! Yup, should be able to get all kinds of info on the Heartless in the organization. And maybe something on the Dark Realm, too. It looks like that's where Riku and Kairi are. I have to try a little. Go see for yourselves. It can't hurt. What do you mean? Nothing, just get to the computer room through the castle pos postern? Watch your step. Watch your step, he says. Watch your step, he says. We're monitoring the Heartless. As such, we place you in charge of attacking them. Good luck. What are you doing? We can get... He looks so funny. We can get to the computer room for the posture. Watch your backs. Uh, you can also save the game here if you so choose. And you could also head all the way over here and check out the new books that's happening over in uh, 100 Acre Wood. I don't really recommend that, actually, uh, right now. We'll deal with that in a future episode. You're not really going to get anything that's super strong from it currently. There are a lot of problems lately. Just look at this strange machine in my room. It completely ruins the atmosphere. What is the strange machine? Oh, right. The big-ass computer just sitting right over here. Oh, that makes sense. That makes sense. An illustration of the town's power grid. All right, let's head right through here back to the burrow. And you should be totally okay, but now we want to head to the Bailey, where we were with uh, Leon, King Leon, uh, way, way, way earlier. Uh, during, jeez, like the first time we were here in Hollow Bastion. Now, there are some Heartless that you can come up here and fight if you so choose. Uh, the Bookmasters don't really do that much damage, and they also give decent experience, as well as money. Money right now is actually something that we are in desperate, desperate need of. So killing them is not the horrible idea, especially when they drop Lucid Gems and whatnot. You can actually get Lucid Gems, Energy Crystal, and a Kazik Record. Uh, which which is a 1% drop chance, so getting those is going to be really rare. Excuse me, are you with the Restoration Committee? What's Leon's gang up to? They've got stuff to do over by the castle poster. Scoop! Huh? Let's report. <laughs> Our leader, of course. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Don't mind her. I assure you. We come in peace. You're kidding. Problem? Okay, fine. You do the talking. So sorry about this. 
I'll never understand that cameo. Uh, I, I don't know. So they're working for, they're trying to figure out, oh, here we go. They're trying to, oh, they're dead. Uh, those are called armored knights. Those are incredibly, incredibly easy to kill. Incredibly easy to kill. Anyways, it looks like Pain, Riku, and Yuna are here. The goal wings from Final Fantasy X2. I don't know what's, they're working for Maleficent, which is really strange. I don't even know, man. I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, that was armored knights. They go down super quick. And you'll notice that they only gave 12 experience, but you fight them in a huge amount of numbers. Now, reaction commands will be important later on, uh, so just, just keep that in mind next time that you end up fighting these guys. We will be fighting them a lot coming up, the Armored Knights. A, a real lot here in Hollow Bastion. So I kind of took the long way down. That is actually just so that we can get some more experience. Uh, again, you can see that these guys are just going down super easy. Uh, we were able to get Bright Shard, though, and uh, uh, Dark Shard. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. You should never really have to buy a Bright Shard, to be honest with you. Ah, here we go. These are called Morning Stars uh, because they look like a Morning Star, which is pretty interesting. You get a Power Crystal, Mega Potion, and Serenity Stone from them. They also give you 153 experience at this point in the game, which is pretty nice. Uh, they aren't that big of a deal. They It uses uh, uh, some attacks that will deal a lot of damage, but it has a major weakness. Um, it will use uh, a Iron Ball Punch, which is a quick right, uh, left, then right attack. And then a spinning mow down, where the, it'll spin around. Uh, it's body press move, where the morning star leaps high into the air. You can counter that with bump and then re, uh, meteor strike. That will do a ton of damage. So this next part, we find ourselves in the restoration site. We could grab the skateboard, but there's no real need. We can continue on, and we will have another attack. This time by another morning star, who hopefully, okay, good, was not able to get his attack off. These guys can catch you in a combo, which will ruin your day. Uh, luckily for us, we were able to kill them and be able to grab a power crystal and a mega potion. So that's pretty darn, pretty darn lucky, and a dark shard, which feels. Pretty darn good, my friends. Actually, you know what? I'm genuinely curious to see if Sora, uh, Flash Step. Apparently, I didn't equip that. That's pretty useful. Flash Step in, uh, unleashes a guard-piercing attack on a slightly distant target while keeping up your own guard, which is pretty useful. Uh, and that's pretty much all that we can do. Support, we could do summon boost, but we don't need that one, uh, right now. We could do once more, which is pretty handy, just in case something happens and, uh, and we potentially die. We can always heal up from that. We can continue forward. We'll probably be jumped right here by two morning stars. Uh, and we need to get out of that. Oh, no, we're fine. We're fine because of the security system that's actually still working for us. Uh, that is pretty handy because it can interrupt these morning stars. Right there, we are able to kill it and get a power crystal yet again. Again, there's, these are items that are going to be incredibly handy for, um, for synthesizing when we are actually able to synthesize. So, unfortunately, let me see if I can just get you up. There we go. Not too worried about it. There's no items in this area, so we can just continue on up here towards uh, where we need to go. Leon! Over here. Oh, it's Aerith. Never mind. That was the wrong... Ha! Huh, that was the wrong voice. You guys found Ansem's computer? Uh-huh. The king is very interested in it. The king? He's with Leon. What? We get to see the king. Her Mickey's here right now? What about Riku? Is Riku with them? I knew it. I knew he was going to ask. Oh, man. Well, at least I can ask the king about him, and that computer might be able to tell us something. Good idea. Let's do it. They're right through here. You mean this big dark area that we gotta jump into? Okay, that looks creepy. So we can save here in the postern if we need to, but more importantly than that, we can go and grab these chests right here, one of which is going to contain a mithril gem. This other one, oh, we can see what this is. What does this say? Examine, exam, 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 exam. Example, the pipe is used to power the city. Uh, and we can also grab a castle perimeter map from this chest right here. Perfect, called it, nailed it, knew it. 
Uh, and we can also, if I'm not entirely mistaken, we can go ahead and grab this puzzle piece right here. Bam, daylight puzzle piece. Uh, there is another puzzle piece around this area. Let's go ahead and talk to Aerith. The computer's up ahead. The way gets a bit tricky inside. If you get lost, just walk along the wall. Let's go ahead and save real quick. Okay, uh, saved, which I recommend doing, and usually I don't overwrite the same save, uh, because you never know if you're gonna have to go back, especially when you're recording something. So right here we can grab this, which is going to be another AP boost, which is super helpful for us. And then... Uh, we can't actually get this just yet, unfortunately. It's not like we can jump and, like, glide over or anything. But eventually, we'll be able to grab that. Guys, did you see that? Did you see who that was? Corridors, welcome to Hollow Bastion, everybody. Welcome to Hollow Bastion, navigating the corridors. Uh, yeah. So these are called, uh, let's see if we can actually snag them, and we can actually use Sparkle Ray, uh, which will kill any of the Heartless that are around it. Also going to be incredibly important soon enough, so keep those in mind. Those are called Surveillance Robots. Um, you can, you can, they're not a huge problem. They will team up on you, and a lot of them can kind of hurt you, but for the most part, they're okay. Right there, we got a Dark Crystal, which is pretty nice. And right here, we can go ahead and hopefully be able to... If I'm hoping that we can get a Reaction Command so I can show you what Snag will actually do to other Heartless. Uh, no, it looks like we're not going to be able to do that. That's okay. Not yet, anyways. Right over here, we can grab a, another Treasure Chest, which contains a Mithril Stone. Uh, you'll notice that this area is pretty... It can be confusing, I suppose. All right, right here, Rising Sun. We can go ahead and use Rising Sun. That was actually a reaction command that was used by, because of the uh, the armored knights that were there. They gave us the Rising Sun there. Uh, Mithril Crystal, we can actually just keep going this way. You'll notice that I'm gonna be backtracking just a little bit in this area, and that's just to make sure that we get all of the items that we can. This is where we, this is where we came in, uh, if I'm not entirely mistaken. Like I said, this place is can be very, very confusing. Um, oh, it looks like we are able to snag, and then maybe... Nope, we weren't able to kill anything with that. That's too bad. That's too bad. Uh, but we were able to get a couple bright gems there, which is handy-dandy notebook. Uh, right over here, we can grab a AP boost. Now, it's interesting that you can't actually climb through here. Um, it, the map almost looks like you can, which is weird, but you can't. Uh, and if I'm not mistaken... Uh, we can't actually grab this puzzle piece just yet either, which is kind of annoying. Um, yeah, we're not going to be able to grab that just yet. If we if we jumped into Valor form, uh, potentially. So let's actually see if we can do that. Let's see if we can jump into Valor form. Uh, and, and let's see if we can actually... There we go. We were able to get the Sunset puzzle piece. Now, I would love to see if some more Heartless will pop up. There we go. Uh, and then we can just go ahead and... This uh, Valor form... I think I talked about this a little bit before, but... Valor form actually, uh, it will upgrade the more you attack something. So it gets an experience point, an experience point per hit. So we got a lightning gem there, which is pretty cool. So it's not per enemy killed. That's wisdom form. Uh, this is indeed um, the way that I what I just said. So we can only go one way now. So let's actually just continue down here and go a little bit deeper into the castle corridors. You actually don't have to come here that often. And look at this. We found a brand new room. Let's go. Uh, you know what? I think... Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Let's go in. Handsome. Gorge. I guess this must be his room. Master King! Hello? Hey, you! I'm looking for somebody. Have any of you seen a guy with spiky hair? <laughs> Spikier. I'll just take a look around. Sorry to bother you. No, no bother, bother him. him. Uh. 
So you made it. Leon! Huh. So, Tifa's here. Tifa from Final Fantasy VII, and it looks like she's probably looking for Cloud. But she kind of said, oh, have you seen somebody with spiky hairs? Uh, yeah, every every Final Fantasy character ever. Uh, a portrait of Ansem. Right here we can see there are notes about the human heart. These are notes about the connections between worlds. This is so cool. Right here we can go ahead and grab a skill recipe that is used in synthesizing. There are notes about the hearts of the world. There are notes about darkness. Interesting stuff. Uh, we can't leave, of course, but we can go talk to Leon. Isn't the king with you? Shh. You'll see him soon enough. Here, this ought to tide you over. Ansem's computer room. Ansem's computer room. Let's actually jump over here. We can talk to Leon if we so choose. The computer room's through here. Computers are delicate. It's okay to touch them, but don't goof around. Look at this room! My god. This is it. Where's Kyrie? Where's Riku? Easy. You wanna break it? Oh. Sorry. Guess I got a little carried away. <laughs> Whoa! Attention current user, this is a warning. Further misuse of this terminal will result in immediate defensive action. Who's there? I am the master control program. I oversee this system. Where are you? Donald! I'm sorry! Decision gate breached. You are now under arrest. Arrest? Run! They've just been digitized. Welcome to the Space Paranoids Worlds. You guys may remember this from the, what, 80s? As Tron? Yeah. Kingdom Hearts 2 has Tron. I don't know why either. Chomu's boss. Who are you? I am Commander Sark. A heartless commander? Hmm. Observe. Okay, you're the boss. I get it. world is this anyway you're inside a mainframe computer system a what system a computer system for processing data this system is a copy of one created by a corporation called ENCOM the original program was destroyed but this copy was acquired by another user the new user updated and customized the programs renaming the system hollow bastion OS he used the system for town maintenance and to advance his private research. My name is Tron. 
I'm a security program. But now I'm under arrest. Same as you. Did you guys get any of that? Gorge! You know, maybe we should just introduce ourselves. I'm Sora. And I'm Donald. Nice to meet you, Tron. Well, I'm Goofy. With that configuration, you must be users. Users? You'd better get out of here quickly. Who knows what the MCP will do to you? MCP? The Master Control Program. It controls the whole system. If you idle here, you will be derezzed. Derezzed? So, how do we get out of here? This terminal could have gotten you back to the user world. But the MCP cut the power 50 microcycles ago. <sighs> if we could bring the energy core in the canyon online, we could power it back up. The problem is, we're stuck in this cell. We're not going anywhere unless we unlock the energy fields. Huh. Well, it looks like we find ourselves in Tron Worlds, and I believe that this is an excellent point to end the episode. We're going to hand over all of our synthesizing things, get a two AP boost. Uh, and we handed all over all recipes, which is pretty cool. We now have a new recipe, AP Boost, which works pretty darn well. Uh, now we can save the game because this is actually a perfect point to end this episode. In the next episode, we will explore space paranoids and see what's going on with Tron and why it matters to the world of Kingdom Hearts 2. Thank you guys very much for subscribing. Or, uh, what? Thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, be sure to leave it a like, maybe subscribe if you haven't already. And there are some links showing up on screen right now that you can click that will take you all over to other places. Thank you for watching and remember, never give up, never surrender to the MCP.